TYT on the shot heard around the world. This is Johnny Adorio and Anna Kasparian. So there you have it. Uh, she's now dead. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly who was yelling out the fact that they were. It's pretty callous, Anna. Pretty callous. What do you got to say, John Adorio? Uh, it was an active shooter sounds more like it was some random element. It's entirely possible that it could be cops. Certainly, we know from our coverage that cops shoot a lot of people. So, Johnny Adorio admits that cops shoot a lot of people. It can only be one of two things, right? Either one of the Trump supporters had a gun on them that accidentally went off, or the Capitol Police shot him. They all had guns. They're all licensed to kill. Cops shoot people all the time. But for Johnny Adorio, that just doesn't jive with his, you know. But we also, we haven't seen much evidence of police using anything even approaching deadly force. They seem to be in basically everything that we can see going out of their way. We haven't seen much evidence. I thought it was the Capitol Police because I saw the Capitol Police all pointing there in the chamber. So all the Congress people were there and the Capitol Police was pointing their guns at the doors. And so I felt like maybe one of them might have shot, you know, through the doors. And um, seems like my theory is holding up. Hey, to engage with the protesters, which doesn't mean that it's impossible that one of them fired a shot. It just isn't consistent with what we've what, what we It's not impossible. It's just not consistent, except for this next piece of evidence that Anna is going to explain to you. We've seen so far. Anyway, I guess there's no benefits to speculation at this point. At some point, we'll find out. But Why are you speculating? Yeah, it didn't need to happen. The uh, District of Columbia Fire and Emergency Medical Services Department confirmed the shooting, saying they transported the patient with critical life-threatening injuries from the Capitol and that uh, CPR was performed. Um, again, I, I want to reiterate that she did not survive. She died uh, from a critical gunshot wound. Uh, one of the pro-Trump rioters uh, who identified himself as Thomas Marani. So there's a guy, apparently BuzzFeed, right, that's the media, Thomas Morani from New Jersey. They don't know the exact spelling of the guy's name, so he probably just told a reporter, yeah, I saw it. And then, so Thomas Morani from New Jersey said he witnessed the shooting. It occurred after the woman rushed to the windows and went and followed police officers' commands to get out of the way. After the woman rushed to the windows, to the windows in the chambers, off to the side, it looked like she was right next to the wall. What windows are they talking about? But this is a guy that said she was rushed to the windows. Police officers wouldn't. I thought it was crowd control. I feel like a police officer shot her randomly for crowd control. So not to, you know, hit her, but just to... Um, and I'm glad he identified himself. I think it's important that uh, people who are part of this uh, pay the consequences for, uh, for treason. Uh, what they're doing is trying to throw out uh, the democratically elected uh, president-elect. That's what they're trying to do here. That's what this is about. Um, but anyway, uh, Thomas Morani from New Jersey, um, the spelling of his last name was not clear. He said his name in a video, uh, said that he had witnessed the shooting. It occurred after the woman rushed to the windows and wouldn't follow police officers' commands to get out of the way, he said. He also told BuzzFeed News, quote, uh, she didn't heed the call, and as we kind of raced up to grab people and pull them back, they shot her in the neck. Uh, and she fell back on me, and then uh, she started moving weird, and blood uh, was coming out of her mouth and neck and nose. God, I, I don't know if uh, she's alive or dead anymore. And again, uh, she she's dead. She's dead. And things are getting uh, more unruly uh, in d as the you know night um, you know brings darkness, of course. Like uh, so, according to a MAGA Trump supporter, why would he lie? He identified himself, and like she said, that you know he could get in trouble for the, all the whole thing. But I think it's good to get witnesses out there just to say what the fuck actually happened. What the fuck actually happened? The shot, the actual shot heard around the world was the the start of the American Revolution. These aren't revolutionaries. These are you know people trying to overthrow the government for totalitarian tyranny. They're the opposite of everything that they say that they think they are. 
They're just, you know, believe in their fucking Fuhrer, you know, 100%. Like, you know, Donald said he could shoot somebody in Fifth Avenue and they wouldn't, you know, lose any support for him. And in a way, you know, the blood is on, you know, the people's hands that had spread this fucking bullshit fire. See, it's on Donald Trump, it's on the 140 Republicans and the 11 senators who were objecting to the Electoral College today, in spite of them knowing that the Electoral College and the popular vote both didn't go to Donald Trump. Uh, we've seen that happen um, with uh, people who decided to co-opt uh, peaceful protests during the summer. Now, those were actual legitimate protests. This is not a legitimate uh, protest. And um, as it gets darker, uh, police are concerned about things getting even more violent and, you know, possibly uh, more gunshots uh, firing because these are people who are armed. They, they showed up armed and people are suffering the consequences of that now. Exactly. Yeah. And look, I mean, we know and everybody's acknowledged they had every bit of warning necessary for what was going to come. The fact that there weren't enough people there to stop it, it implies something. I don't know exactly what. Um, <coughs> so awful analysis, John and Anna. It seems to me it's an equal possibility, 50-50, until we know for sure we don't know for sure. Could one of the Trump supporters had a gun and their gun went off? Yeah, that makes sense, but it didn't happen the entire time. It happened when they were up against a wall and probably police were on the other side. And so that guy said that she was against the window or in front of the windows and the police told her to get out of the windows and they tried to pull her back, but they didn't pull her back in time. She got shot through the neck. And then he said blood came out of her mouth and her ears, her mouth and her ears and her neck. And so that seems, why would blood come out of your neck? That means you got shot through the neck. And it looked like she was in the fucking daze right then and there. Like, that was it. And she was barely alive, barely alert, like, shocked and just, you know. I think that TYT needs to be more um, empathetic to, towards people, anybody, frankly. You know, it's like, well, she deserved it. I don't know. Did she, did she know what she was doing? Did she know what was she, you know, uh, got carried up in going along with the flow? Does she really know that? So to me, it seems like it's equally possible. I, it seems to me, actually, it's clearly, it's more clear to me that it's more likely the, the Capitol Police. But it could equally be possible that one of the Trump supporters, their guns went off or some shit and shot her, too. So until we know, we don't know. And the evidence that they just showed, actually, uh, you know, it says that the Capitol Police shot, you know, her, because that's what the witness, Thomas Moreno, that's what he said. And um, that's why wouldn't we trust the eyewitness? Like uh, what? What she? He? You know, risked telling you know his name and his involvement, but it bas basically he just wanted to say what um, what he saw, and he wanted to be a witness. So I thought that was pretty good. Tyt, terrible reporting, but not a shocker. Anyways, peace.